Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. In the previous video, I have implemented the functionality of get customer by ID. You can see here, we are getting the customer from the database. So today in this video, we will see how can we update the customer. So let's start the functionality. You can see the Spring Boot application. And here I'm going to create a method that is update customer. So you can see public return type customer and here is the name of the method that is update customer and in the argument it will receive object of customer and it will return the response of this statement that is customer repository dot save and here we need to pass the object to save the updated record okay so let's call this method from our controller so here i'm going to create a method So you can see method is public and the return type is a customer. I wrap it with response entity and here's the name of the method update customer. And here we need to get a customer with the API. So here I'm added here the annotation that is add the request body. So let's add here the annotation that is Annotation is at the red put mapping and here we need to pass the URL that is slash customer slash ID. Okay. So we also need to get ID from the URL. So let me add here the annotation that is at the red path variable and long ID. So after that, we need to call our customer service method that is get customer by ID and here we need to pass ID. So let's save the response, this method into this object that is existing customer after that here we need to check that is existing customer is equal is equals to null then here we need to return not found dot build in case if existing customer is not null then here we need to set name and we will get name from Customer dot get name. Existing customer dot set email and we will get email from customer dot get email. Existing customer dot set name phone and we will get phone from customer object. After that, we need to call here our customer service and the method that is update customer. And here we need to pass existing customer object because we have a objective data into this object. So let's save the response of this method into this object that is customer updated customer. that red we need to return here response entity dot okay and in the argument we need to pass here updated customer object so let's run the application and test this api with postman and later we will call this api from angular so let's put put here the data into our postman so let me add here the url that is slash api slash customer slash id so for example i want to update this record with the id 5 so let me put here the id 5 let's select here raw and then json and here we need to pass the body so first of all we need to pass here name that is user name email phone okay and the mapping is put you can see here application is started in port 8080 let's hit this api and you can see we got a response from our backend that is 200 okay and the id5 name user so let's refresh the 
database and here you can see the updated record saved successfully into our database so let me refresh the get all customer component and here you can see we got an updated record from our backend so let's go to our service and here i'm going to create a method to call the api from our backend so the method name is and here in the argument it will see two things the first one is the id and the second one is the customer object so here we need to change the mapping that is put and the url that is slash api slash customer slash id and after that we need to pass here customer object okay so let's call this method from our update customer component so let me create here the method that is update customer and here we need to call this dot service dot get customer and here we need to pass two things first one is the id and the second and second thing and the second thing we need to pass here that is uh, values from the form so here we need to call update customer form dot value okay let's subscribe this and save the response into this variable and let me add here the console.log to show the response into our console so let's call this method on the click button event let me add here the event click and here we need to call this method you can see here okay so let's go to our ui for example i'm going to update this user so let me click here update button and here we need to pass name that is johan johan at the test.com and here i'm going to change the number that is let's click on this update button before this let me open here the inspect and you can see the records updated successfully let's back navigate to our get all customer component and here you can see okay so let me add here the few more statement that is if the rest.id not is equals to null then we need to navigate the user to the get all customer component so we just need to add here private router so here we need to call this dot router dot navigate by url and here we need to pass the url of our get all customer component that is this one let me show you okay so i have added here so let's update this user again let me add here name zach and here's the phone number that is And you can see it's navigating back to our get all customer component and also record update is successfully okay so that's all for now from my side and thanks for watching also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thank you take care bye